Introducing the one and only Ricardo. Will Sheriff John Winters please step to the center of the ring? Ladies and gentlemen, the escape Ricardo was about to make is so fantastic, so unbelievable, we have asked your own sheriff to verify that these handcuffs, rocks and chains are real. If you please, sheriff. Are you satisfied, Sheriff? Would you say it is absolutely impossible for Ricardo to escape? Well, if he can, I'd hate to have him in my jail. <laughs> Please consult your watch. Please check the sheriff. Let me know when just 30 seconds are up. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Why, thank you, Cody. But I can't figure out how you do that trick. Magic. Magic? Really? How else can you explain? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> My Uncle Joy's on now. I gotta go watch. Excuse me. Of course. Sign of Ricardo yet? Oh, uh, we're ready to roll, and he's done his disappearing act again. Disappeared? Who's disappeared? Where have you been? I just thought I'd go for a walk. Well, take your walks earlier. This isn't the first time you've held us up. Don't let it happen again. All right, men! Keep them rolling! <laughs> Broke that too tight? Nothing. <laughs> oh, are you sure you can't get free? Nope. <laughs> All right, now you watch this. With a simple jerk of the ropes, so? Now, oh, that's funny. Well, what's the matter? Can't imagine. No. <laughs> Are you the dirt? <laughs> hey, that's terrific! Wait till I show my Uncle Joy... But... But what was that you said? That was magic. You can't make any of the tricks work unless you use the right magic word. Really? Absolutely. You know... I have all my magic words written down in a little black book, just so I don't forget. Gee. Ricardo, see you a minute. I want you to meet the local sheriff over there. Of course, sir. Oh, Mr. Champion. About last night, I'm sorry. I was thoughtless of me. Forget it. I have. So you practice that trick now. See you later. 
Ricardo, this is Sheriff Green of Crescent City. He'll work with you in your act tonight. Pleasure, Sheriff. Hope you don't mind my imposing on you this way. Not at all. I'm always interested in fellas like you. In fact, there was one through here with another show a few years ago, The Great Escapo. Did you ever hear of him? Escapo? Of course. Every magician knows about The Great Escapo. He was the best that ever was. Was? That's right. He died about a year ago. Oh, I guess every escape artist in the business would like to be as great as he was. That includes me, Sheriff. A very noble ambition. Well, thanks for offering to assist me. See you later. How long has this Ricardo been with you? About two months. Why? Just wondering, since his ambition is to fill the shoes of the great Escapo. Well, what's wrong with that? Escapo had a great act. A great scheme, I'd call it. What do you mean, scheme? Well, Escapo could get into a locked bank ball just as easy as if we made a putty. So at night, while the circus was on, he'd go into town and rob the local banks. I know, because the last time he left here, he took $10,000 from our local bank with him. What's that got to do with Ricardo? Well, nothing, I hope, but since that little incident, I've been pretty wary of men in his particular line of business. Well, if it'll put your mind at ease, Sheriff, I want it made clear that I'm responsible for everyone in my show. That's fine. But I still suggest that you keep him away from town, especially at night. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I'm afraid I can't order him to do that. Then I'll just have to keep him under surveillance. See you later. <laughs> hey, how about that, Sheriff? Suspecting Ricardo of being a thief. Uncle Joey! I got a neat trick to show you. Oh, well, you show me later, huh, Cork? Maybe it would be a good idea to find out a little more about Ricardo. After all, it would be pretty easy to break into a bank while the whole town's at the show. Mr. Ricardo wouldn't do a thing like that. Maybe not, Corky, but just the same, I'm gonna find out exactly where Ricardo goes on those little midnight walks of his. In the meantime, let's not spread this around the lot, huh? Let's keep it among ourselves. Mm. Huh. I just know Mr. Ricardo isn't a crook. Mm -hmm. He's still nice to everyone. Yeah. And Bimbo likes him. Well, I guess that does clinch it if Bimbo likes him. Bimbo's never wrong about people, Uncle George. <laughs> well, I hope so. Hey, look, Corky, I got some work to do. How about get me out of this thing, huh? Okay. Come on, hurry up. One, two, three. Well, Paul, Paul, oh, Paul, I gotta get out. Gee, Uncle Joey, it doesn't work. Oh, fine. Uh oh, I guess I need the magic word. Yeah, well, what do I do? Sit here while you think up some magic word? Don't you worry, Uncle Joey. Mr. Ricardo has it written down a little black book. Uh, I'll go look it up. Yeah. Now you stay here now. Oh, I will. I will. The magic word? Mm -hmm. Said you found a bag full of stage money, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, stage money? Is that what it is? Why, what's the matter? Well, nothing. Only it looks so real. <laughs> Let me show you something. Hand me one of those $10 bills there. One on top. That's it. Now watch. Watch this. Now, if that was real money, I wouldn't throw it away, would I? You're not very likely. Go on, you can have it. Keep it for a souvenir. Gee, thanks! Hey, Corky! Uncle Joey! <sighs> Remember me? Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, Uncle Joey. I was looking for the little mm -hmm. black book. I mean, um, I didn't... Well, this seems to be more in my life. I hope you haven't forgotten the magic <laughs> word. Did you tie these ropes, Corky? Yes, sir. Oh, you're certainly asking a lot of my magic. However, a reverse Ah, well, thanks, Ricardo. <laughs> oh, Joey, 
Run into town to the bank for me, will you? We need some change for tonight's show. I'm not busy, Mr. Champion. Be glad to take it in for you. Oh, uh, Joey knows what we need. Better let him do it. All right, Mr. Champion. Yeah, I'll take it in right away, boss. Uncle Joey, can I go with you? What, as a reward for almost strangling me? Well, I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, come on, you can oh, come boy. with me. Want to wait over in the chair? Okay. Uh, could you change this for me, please? Can you change this $10 for me, mister? I'm afraid not, Sonny. Well, what's wrong? It's absolutely worthless. I'm afraid somebody cheated you. Gee, that's wonderful. Thanks, mister. Ready to go, Corky? Sure, Uncle Joy. Thanks again, mister. Circus people. Yes, I am, Sheriff. And as much as I have a very bad headache, I'll say goodnight. That's if it's all right with you. That's fine with me, so long as you don't leave the ground. But just in case you do get the urge, I've got a deputy watching for you. Oh, Sheriff, you're thoughtful. <laughs> Why didn't you leave Mr. Ricardo alone? He's no crook, I know. Sure. He said he had a headache. Would it be all right if I brought him some coffee from the cook tent? Well, I think that'd be very nice. Why don't you get... Oh, come on, there's my cue. Have you seen Corky? No, I haven't. And Ricardo hasn't shown up either. He's uh, I'm worried about him. Tisn't like him. He's always in the wagon by the time we're ready to roll. He's probably with Ricardo. Well, if he is, I'm going to give them both a piece of my mind. After me, Joey. Come on. 
Mr. Champion? Here's your great Ricardo. I thought I ordered you to stay on these grounds. What's in the bag, Gus? Hey, well, was Corky with you? Corky? Why, no. Well, take a look at this, sir. Burglar tools. Wow. Well, search him. See what else we find. Are you positive Corky wasn't with you? Why, uh, sure. I haven't seen him since I finished my act. Oh, boy. Here's something, Chief. A list of banks in different cities. Charlotte, Grand Rapids, Fort Wayne, Waterloo, Crescent City. Ooh. Look at this. Crescent City Bank. Vault has multiple tumbler. Bosch and Bark Lock. $10,000. Mighty clever bookkeeping, Mr. Ricardo. This is going to make it a lot easier for me to convict you. Now, where's the $10,000? Search me, Sheriff. Oh. <laughs> you already have, haven't you? Well, maybe he slipped it to that kid that's missing. Hey, wait a minute. Don't you try and ring Corky in on this. Oh, why don't he tell us then where the money is stashed? So far, Sheriff, I don't think you have any proof that any money's been taken. No, not yet, but we soon will. Gus, go over and pick up Mr. Bailey and meet us at the bank. As long as you're responsible, you better come along, too. Hold it, Sheriff. First, we've got a lost boy that's pretty important to us. Boss, you go ahead. I'll stay here and look for Coach. All right, Joey. Round up all the men you need. Corky! Uh, you're worried about him, too, aren't you, Bimbo? God, I wish I knew, but... Hey, are you trying to tell me that you could... Why, sure, why didn't I think of that before? You always know where Corky is. Wait a minute, I'll take that chain off. Now, you wait, I'll unchain you here. All right, now, lead the way to Corky, Bimbo. <laughs> Wait right here, boys, till my deputy gets here with Mr. Bailey. Then we'll find out if you got away with any money. Any trace of Corky? No, not yet, Tim. But Bimbo's right on his trail now. You do a lot better with a bloodhound. Believe me, Sheriff, when it comes to trailing Corky, Bimbo's better than a bloodhound. Come on, let's see where he's going. <laughs> the bank. How could he get in there at this time? Unless you were in there and he followed you in. No, he couldn't have. So you admit you were in there. Remember this, boys, for testimony. But he can't be in there, Joey. He'd hear us out here. Yeah, well, maybe he caught Ricardo in the act. Where is he, Ricardo? You and your rogue tricks, what'd you do to him? Get a hold of yourself, Joey. I love the boy as much as you do. You know I wouldn't do anything to harm him? Sheriff, uh, what's the trouble? Plenty. Open up. We want to get in. Uh -huh. Here's the matches, Mr. Bailey. Well, thank you. It's Corky. Corky! Corky! Corky, where are you? Well, obviously he isn't here. That elephant made a mistake. I guess you're right. Did you hear that? It's coming from the bowl. That's Moore's code. That must be Corky. I taught it to him. Well, it must be something in the mechanism. It's impossible for anybody to be in there. Is it, Ricardo? I don't know. Open it, Mr. Bailey. Let's find out. Open it. It's on a time lock. It won't open until Monday morning. What do you mean, Monday morning? He couldn't last that long. Well, I suppose we could get some men in with tools and dynamite, but that would take hours, and if there's anybody in there, it'd be too late to say. Well, you've got to try it anyway. We've got to do something. We will do something. I'll open it. Ricardo, do you know what you're doing? You open that door, and you open the door to jail. Stand back, you're breathing too hard. Breathing too hard? That's right. Now stand back, please. Stop breathing if possible. Let's do as he says, men. That cinches it. Mr. Bailey, check your vault and see how much money's missing. I'm sorry, Mr. Ricardo. That's all right, Corky. I guess it was bound to happen sometime. It's funny, though. This was going to be the last one. Well, brother, this was your last one. Take him in, Gus. Sheriff! 
Sheriff, it's yeah. incredible. It's incredible. What is? How much money's missing? Well, that's just it. There isn't any money missing. There's more in there than when I locked it up. Well, now, that is incredible. You go in and count it again. Mr. Bailey's right, Sheriff. There's $10,000 more than when he locked the vault. That's right, exactly, 10000 Do you mean you cracked this bank to put money into it? That's right, Sheriff. What? The great escaper was my father. Oh, I know he committed a number of robberies. It's all there in the black book, the one you have. When he died last year, he willed me the black book and all the money he'd ever stolen. He never had a chance to spend it. At the end, he was sorry for what he'd done and asked me to undo it. Well, then why didn't you just send the money back to its rightful owners? That would have been too easy, Sheriff. You see, I've always worshipped my father as the greatest magician in the world. I wanted to be as good as he was. And the only way I could prove it to myself would be to undo all the wrongs he'd done, exactly as he did them. I guess I just didn't quite make it today. That's a matter of opinion, Mr. Ricardo. In my book, you've proved yourself much greater. Uh, I'll underwrite that. Me too. Shall I take him in now, sir? No, you numbskull. Is there any law against a man putting money into a bank? Mr. Bailey? I guess we can't do any more here. Ricardo, I'm a fair man. May I offer you my hand? Surely, Sheriff. Arrivederci. Well, uh... <laughs>